about playing? Or call 1-800-TCM-1002. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks so much for being here as we continue our evening of films with Michael Caine, who in the year 2000 became officially Sir Michael Caine. Now, he made his first screen appearance in 1956, and he's still going strong with two new movies currently in theaters, another in post-production, another filming, and two more in pre-production. I mean, not a bad thing for an actor of any age to face when he wakes up in the morning. Well, our next Michael Caine movie co-stars Elizabeth Taylor and Susanna York, and it's called X, Y, and Z. Z spelled Z-E-E, -E, and being the name of Elizabeth's character. Columbia Pictures released the movie in 1972. Mike and Elizabeth co-star as a married couple enduring a love-hate relationship, which gets more complicated when Michael meets and falls in love with Susanna York, who's a gentle, widowed mother of two. Well, as that affair intensifies, so does Elizabeth's rage, and she begins going to some drastic lengths to keep this very fractured marriage of hers intact. Now, Michael Caine has said that when his agent told him he'd been offered a movie playing opposite Elizabeth Taylor, he was so thrilled he barely read the script before saying, yes, I'll do it. When he finally did meet Elizabeth face to face, he was extremely nervous, first at the prospect of working with such a legend, then even more so when he, he learned that her husband at the time, Richard Burton, would be accompanying Elizabeth to the set every day because Burton wasn't working at the time. Well, Michael always felt that Burton's wanting to be there on the set had to do with the fact that in the film Alfie, which had made Michael such a big star, he played a totally lecherous ladies' man. And Richard, like many others, mixed up the real Michael Caine with the fictional Alfie that he played. But everything worked out fine. Michael and Burton actually became very good friends. So from 1972, here's Michael Caine and Elizabeth Taylor in X, Y, and Z.